A lot has happened since my big fat Greek wedding. Like I never left. My father passed away, and his last wish was for us to visit his childhood village and reconnect with our roots. So we're having a reunion. We're going to Greece. Oh yeah. When you have someone who is directing, but not only directing, but has written the script and has been starring in this franchise now for three installments so since 2002, it is so over 20 years now. Um, what kind of benefits are there to someone who knows the story and the family and like kind of context so well for you working alongside someone like that? I suppose the good thing about this was it, it, it was something completely different. So you're not trying to match exactly the first two films, although that was one of the ideas. I wanted to try and bring the, the same humor, the same kind of visual humor, the little bits, of little, little details were in the first film. I wanted to kind of bring into this, but you're opening it up into a different world. You were opening it up into this, uh, in, in into her, into the Greek village. And, you know, a lot of everything that Nia writes, a lot of it comes from personal experience. So she will tell you certain things and then you pick up on that and then you go with that. Uh, and so she had a very clear eye of what 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 how she saw the film. And uh, as I said before, we we both saw eye to eye. And so I'd come up with ideas, and she'd say, "Well, no, what about this? We do this." So it was a real collaborative project. What's ironic is you actually become like the Portocolis family as a group. We and it's because of Nia, and she's such a family oriented person that as you know, as a group, all we did is we have incredibly big lunches go scout somewhere else. You know, it was so much fun. I mean, as a, as a place and it's because she, she treated us like family mm -hmm. and like, you know, and it, that's a rarity. When it comes to the art department, I imagine so much of the work has to happen in pre-production. And I was wondering if you could just give me like a little bit of insight of what pre-production looked like for you on this film. Sure. Well, it was probably the nicest pre-production that I've ever had uh, by way of it just being in, in Greece and being shown the most amazing locations. Obviously this film is a, it's sort of, it's a heartwarming love letter to, to Greece. Uh, so we were very, very fortunate enough to be shown some of the most amazing spots that Greece and Athens, if certainly in the first instance had to see. So it was lots of trips up the coast, lots of trips up the mountains, obviously in the hustle and bustle of Athens as well. So you know, we were almost sport for choice. Um, and I'm sure Grant probably would say the same. Um, so, yeah. And then obviously we sort of ended up branching out to the island of Corfu as well, which, you know, is even in, in a way is even more beautiful in a, in a, in a still a very Greek way, but a more sort of Venetian style of architecture. So a, a bit warmer in, in pastel tones and all that sort of, that sort of nice niceness. Um, so yeah, pre-production for us was, it was a joy really. And, and, and doing that following Nia around, obviously Nia's coming to see all these places as well. And, and just, just seeing those responses in real time, um, you know, sort of taking a step back and watching Nia Grant and Barry Peterson, the cinematographer, just work out that, you know, this wasn't necessarily what we were looking for, but it's so, so beautiful that we have to, we have to make it fit and seeing that, that seeing those creative juices flow around and bouncing off each other, in, you know, in a quite a, a relatively short pre-production as well, it has to be said, yeah. um, those three all being on the same page and, you know, adaptable just really, really helped make it just, you know, it was a, it was an amazing, amazing experience. Whenever you're working in a foreign country, as a language is a barrier, I was really lucky to have a, a wonderful assistant who was seasoned in Greece, who spoke English fluently, who was really my major source of communication. There was a lot of my department was, um, there were people who weren't really familiar with film work. They maybe had done some commercials. They weren't, you know, really sort of accustomed to this sort of bigger production from a commercial to a feature film. But I really relied on the locals to really bring me to the places that I needed to go shopping to, to sort of find the pieces that I needed. Um, then it was really just a matter of like bringing them back, meeting with the actors, doing fittings, tailoring all the costumes to fit them, you know, beautifully. And then really having a meeting with Nia and, and finding out the best look for that scene. I was wondering about the visual language ab about it you know because you know you could shoot it any which way that you want um but what what were some of the conversations about how you wanted to look feel uh was there any scene in particular that that needed a distinct feel uh that you remember having like extensive conversation about 
primarily what we wanted to do was contrast Chicago and, and Greece. So when we were in Chicago, we were very desaturated by the nature of it. And I mean, it naturally happens when you deal with that much concrete and no color, you know. Um, and when the airplane door opened the first time, we wanted it to be a warm, warm wind and the light changed. It's now backlit. It's warm. People's skin tones suddenly look healthier. Um, <laughs> just in, you know, just by the nature of, of the place that was, it somewhat drove us in that direction because the, the, Corfu is unbelievably beautiful. You're the head of the family now. Yeah, I'm like, I can't really day drink like this. Don't worry, a lady is never drunk. <laughs> Pick the one we have for dinner. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. No. <laughs>